Way back in February, around my birthday, I used the discount vouchers I had to buy a few new beauty things. Mostly skincare, quelle surprise, but also some makeup bits. None of which have been shown on here yet. So here you go, my very late what's new in my beauty stash video. Hi, I'm Dr. Anne. I'm a medical doctor with a passion for skincare that works. On this channel, we explore the science behind skin and do quick reviews, so you learn to pick exactly those products that work for your individual skin concern. So if this is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing and ring the notification bell. And I just realized I already did share one thing with you, the Inkylist Oat Cleansing Balm. The Inkylist had quite a few great new releases earlier this year, out of which I purchased this cleanser, the Peptide Moisturizer, the tranexamic acid night treatment and the 15% vitamin C and EGF. You might remember that I did not get along with the original vitamin C serum. It has 30% ascorbic acid and was way too irritating, too intense for my skin. I needed to mix it in with another hydrating serum to be able to use it. This one not only uses 15% instead of 30% of vitamin C, but also not L-ascorbic acid, which can be pretty irritating, but a vitamin C derivative, as in ascorbyl glucoside, which is very promising in the studies that have been done so far. EGF is endothelial growth factor. Growth factors play an important role in cell renewal and the oligopeptide 1, which is used in here, is a synthetic version of these growth factors aiming to protect the skin and reduce wrinkles. I have only used it a few times, so I'll report back once I can tell you more. The peptide moisturizer, though described as rich, was one that I immediately knew I wanted as well. It has the pressed down packaging that I adore and it combines two different kinds of peptides at a bargain price. First impressions are good even for my more combination skin but again I'm going to use it a little more and then report back with a full review. You might have seen my video on tranexamic acid for skin brightening recently and one of the more affordable products available is the Inkylist tranexamic acid night treatment which offers 2% tranexamic acid and is supposed to be used as a leave-on mask overnight. Again I have used it a few times but not enough to give you a full review. The one thing I want to tell you though, this one smells like barbecue sauce. Moving on to another brand. This one is the Tan Lux Super Glow Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum, which I first heard about on Caroline Hiron's channel. This is marketed as skincare and it is a really nice hydrating serum, but the main feature for me, despite it containing a few humectants, is the gradual and buildable self tan that it gives you. I have used it quite a lot since I acquired it because with the crazy work hours of the last few weeks, I really look kind of sickish and pale and this one made me look as if I was leading kind of a healthy lifestyle with a lot of fresh air kind of fake it till you make it, I guess. Mentioned quite a few times already on my channel here are the Zellens Power D High Potency Pro Vitamin D treatment drops that I repurchased. Yes, they are incredibly expensive, which is why I faithfully repurchase them once a year with a birthday voucher. They do last me a year and they really help my skin in tolerating the tretinoin that I use this one on tretinoin night before I apply the retinol and I really have zero irritation. So expensive, yes, but for me worth the money. Lastly, Good Molecules sent me their pineapple exfoliating powder. I'm not the biggest fan of DIY mix your skincare yourself products, but I have the opportunity to use it a few times. It's really gentle. Full review is coming up. And now it's time to move on to makeup. I only purchased the necessities, a mascara and a powder foundation. I'm a powder foundation girl at heart, always have been, especially in the summertime when I opt for a lighter coverage and yeah, when something that is easy to reapply after reapplying my sunscreen. I reached for the Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation in the color 16 Linen, which is a tad too dark for me, even if I use my Tan Lux Serum, which could have been avoided if I hadn't tested only on the back of my hand in store. Should know better, but well, I guess I never learn. But apart from giving me a really bronzed look, this one gives a nice skin-like finish. It's not too mad and it never cakes when I reapply it throughout the day. Reapplying is necessary though because this one has a tendency to disappear after three to four hours. 
And then I purchased the Maybelline Lash Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara, which is totally blogger inspired. I think I saw it on Shireen's Instagram feed, not quite sure. I enjoy the mascara, do not like the wand. It has this kind of curvy butterfly wing shaped wand and these tend to clump my lashes incredibly. So I used the mascara but with an old wand that I still kept because I loved it. This one was just a plain spiky slender long one and that way I get nicely separated lashes that are long and black and last all day. And that is everything that I purchased back in February with my birthday vouchers. Please tell me in the comments below if you have tried any of the items I mentioned. I'm going to link to a few more videos that I think you might enjoy. And I'm going to see you all very soon with another one. Bye!